Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline. Today is Monday morning and I am just about to head out to do some errands that I have to get done, but I'm probably gonna go thrifting also. Most times when I hit the road, no matter what I'm doing in life, I stop in a thrift store. It's just the nature of things at this point. Now the weekend was a very slow sales weekend for me on eBay. I never worry about that because over the course of the month, it kind of all evens out and my sales are still consistent but I did have a really good Facebook marketplace local pickup weekend including the sale of the black velvet chair so if you guys remember I did a pickup at the Goodwill bins two weeks ago week and a half ago week ago something like that and included in that furniture pickup was a black velvet chair I paid four dollars and 99 cents for it and it sold for 150 those are the sales we really love I popped it in the car met the buyers 10 or 15 minutes down the road in a public parking lot and no fees you gotta love that all right let's hit the road I don't know where I'm gonna wind up today now I say that a lot and that is the truth sometimes I just go with a gut feeling and I try to remember who's being good on a Monday what stores are restocked from the weekend a little bit earlier because sometimes you can go to a thrift store and Monday is white we want to avoid that all right let's hit the road Thank you so much for all your continued support. I love you guys. You guys are on it, giving me help, leaving comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get on the road. Let's go thrifting together. Oh, this is a beautiful little casserole dish. Oh my goodness, is that a chip? Let's take a look at that a little bit closer. Oh darn, that is a chip. Okay, boy is that pretty. I love that pattern. Gold top and handles. Let's see if it's marked. Can't see any marking. I don't think this is marked, but this pattern is adorable. Shame it has a chip. Oh, these birds, they're all in white. Are they salt and pepper shakers? They're not, they should be. Oh, those would be beautiful salt and pepper shakers. But they're figurines, unmarked. $2.99, that's not bad. I don't know if many people would want white birds as figurines. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this is now for resale, but jars of pearls. I feel like we need <laughs> jar storage. Jars of pearls and some kind of little clear glass pebbles. Very cool. Godiva cup probably came in one of those gift packs where you get Godiva chocolate. Do I want Godiva chocolate? Yes, I do. What else do we see? Oh, this dish is pretty. Little trinket dish. $4.99. If this was $2.99, this is so cute, I would have taken it. But $5 is a little bit high because I'm probably only going to get $12 to $15 for it. So I'm going to discipline myself and put that back. The shelves seem really helpful today. Really cool stuff. And I'm sure we're gonna find treasure. Okay, this is stunningly gorgeous. Do we love this? Yes, we do. It's a sugar ball missing its top. This looks like Limoges. It's got a little bit of the paint missing there. Well, maybe not, maybe it's meant to be that way. Isn't this stunning, guys? Do you love this? I love this. Beautiful, it looks like bone china. Oh, somebody really tore that tag apart. No marking. I thought for sure this was Limoges. So pretty, so delicate in the hand. All right, we're gonna keep our eyes open for the top for that. Oh, more pretty china. Oh, okay, can somebody please, please bring back beautiful china. Look how gorgeous that is. So beautiful. Okay, I feel like there's so much new stuff on the shelves. When was the last time I was here? It has to be about a week ago. $3.99. Now, it's not a real shell, but this is adorable. I love this. $3.99. This is going right in the cart. Beautiful. Just made out of, like, ceramic or porcelain. Gorgeous. $4. I think somebody would want that for their coffee table for on top of books. Okay, I'm gonna be on this aisle for a while, I can tell. I will try to go through it quickly. A pelican bird. That's a pelican, right? $6.99. Wood sculpture. 
Huh, I wonder what that would cost to ship. Okay, $6.99 again, a little bit high. I would have taken that for $5. Okay, I like the primitive folk art look of this cat. A little mouse, oh, the mouse is on a little wheeled cart. Is this signed? David, who's David? $5. Oh my goodness, look at the expression on that face. He's going right in the cart too. He can keep my seashell company. It's kind of like a thing I have going on. Okay, I'm wondering if the same household donated all of their decor because a lot of this coordinates. Oh, I was hoping this was iron. Gee, that's pretty. $4.99, but I think it's just up. It lost its flowers. That's what's going on here. These belonged in there. Okay, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> I'm in a mood today. Feathers and hydrangeas. Oh, that's almost good. I don't want to ship that, so that's not happening. I'm gonna be really careful today of what I pick up. I want to ship things like this, just little tiny vases and decor that's easy to ship. A little bell. Oh, $3.99 for a bell. Do we want a noisy bell for $3.99? I will take that. What kind of bell is that? Not sure. We're gonna put that in the cart. Okay, the treasure is here today. This is $9.99, but this is beautiful. I don't think it has any damage. So it must be like a trivet or a hot plate. Like I said, $9.99. Oh, it has a tag. Angel Trivet, early 20th century. It was $50 in the antique store. I'm gonna take a chance on this for $10. And today is Senior Citizens Day, 15% off. So what is that, $8.50? All right, what else is on the shelf? Okay, this is very interesting. Oh, an old box. Oh, $9.99 again. Them in there, $9.99. Goodwill is recognizing that some of this stuff is from an antique store. Okay, this is a leather box, I believe. It's got some damage, $9.99, do I want that? Hmm, it does have a marking on the back. Genuine leather, I think it says, made in something. I'm gonna have to gently peel that sticker off, but I'm not liking the damage. If this was in perfect condition, I would take this for $10. Could be a mistake. Okay, I'm barely moving. There's just everything on the shelf today. He's adorable. Okay, an ornament. A gravy boat. What is this? Oh, wine stoppers. There's a crystal one. I'm not quite sure what that one is. And what do they want for this? $4.99. This one is a rock. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna take these. I think those are quite plentiful. Oh, look at this right in front of me. So at this point, I am pretty sure that donations have come in from either an antique store or somebody's booth. $3.99, little brass scissors of some sort. I'm not sure what they're used for. I'm gonna have to open that baggie and research those, but those are going in the cart. Oh, let it be a multiple cart day. I haven't had one of those like really full carts in a long time. Oh, these tricked me, plastic in different colors. Do they come apart? I almost think that they should be for a picnic and come apart. Okay, hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I wanna scoop up everything on the shelves. What else do we see? A witch's hat, we don't want that. Oh, this little figurine has lost almost all of its paint. Seems very old. Not sure who's making that. I think that's chalkware, not entirely sure. Okay, even though these are very shiny brass and $7 a piece, Hosley, huh, made in India. I'm gonna look these up because these are so chunky, they're good. Now it would cost me $14 and the bottom is missing to this one. But I'm gonna put those in my cart and run a comp on those because the style of it is really superior. Nice for pillar candles. And I'm so glad it has this sticker. It makes my life a lot easier. Now they're contemporary, and I think that tag said 11 something. Could have said 111 something. <laughs> One can hope. 
Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wow, this is very heavy. Made in India. Wow, that's heavy. Okay, $9.99. I'm going to put that back. But I am going to look at this guy here. An inkwell? An inkwell. This is probably a reproduction. Doesn't seem that finely made. What are these pieces? Okay, not entirely sure what, I'm, what I've got here. Again, I'm going to have to open these up. Are these like... I don't know what these are. What are these, guys? Hmm. I'm going to take both of those and put those in my cart because I don't want to be sorry I didn't grab them. But again, I'm going to have to look those up. Okay, artwork. Very interesting. It is signed. I don't know whether this is an original watercolor or a print. Oh, that's a good sign right there. And what do they want for this? $3.99. In the cart, this one goes. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, I like all of this stuff. Very pretty. Okay, you know me, I always look at baggies of things. Turkey napkin ring holders in red and green. I guess for Christmas, $2.99. I don't see any marking on it. So I'm going to leave those. That could be something that I don't know about. There's so much I don't know about. It's crazy. After all these years, you would think you would know everything. A glass dish. I'm going to take a look at the bottom of it. Okay, it doesn't really seem like anything all that wonderful. The glass is nice and heavy, so that's a good sign. A lot of times when you get glass items from like dollar stores or lower end stores, the glass is very, very thin and would break easily. Wow, look at this martini glass. Oh, it's plastic. <laughs> Who needs plastic martini glasses? I guess for outdoor, outdoor living. Ooh, ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's flash painted and it is losing its color. Look at that. See it? That's flash painted. That is beautiful though. I was kind of hoping that was like a cranberry glass through and through. Okay, seeing two things at once. This little figurine, 2043, it is marked. And this vase here. Okay, it does have a marking on the bottom. Just looks like X's and O's. It is glazed inside. Looks to be vintage. Let's put it up here so we can take a better look at it. Hmm. I don't know that it's finally done enough. Because I don't have a lot of pottery knowledge, this is gorgeous, I have to say. Ten dollars. I'm wondering if this came in with the other, um, the other donation of the antique store stuff. It is gorgeous, but because that marking is so crude, it looks like just some X's. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. That might be a big mistake on my part, but I don't think so. These glasses are marked Neiman Marcus, I guess for Christmas maybe, because the bears have red and green bows and they are playing a tuba, is that a tuba? Neiman Marcus. Probably vintage, but I don't know that many people would want bear glasses. And see the way that the bear has a stripe right in the middle of him? So just mass marketed. I'm gonna leave those behind. Okay, quite a large figurine or statue. The face seems to be nicely done, not perfect. Painting is a little bit off. It is numbered 4042. Not sure what else that, there is a mark. And what do they want for this? $3.99. I hate to buy stuff just because I think it's something. Okay, his hair, the way that it's painted, I'm gonna put this one back. See the side of his the flesh colored, how it's not well done. Looks like it's very quickly painted. Somebody like Meissen or something like that, it would be much finer. But always learning. And if you buy this and you become a millionaire. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this is made out of. It looks like glass. It sounds like metal and it's painted. So pretty. 
Okay, there's that felt on the bottom. $3.99. Not sure who would want this though. Right next to it, beautiful glasses. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Up, oh, is that a chip? I think we have a chip up top. Yes, we do, or an imperfection from time of manufacture. Boy, that was a party. I don't see any, any stamp or any mark. Hmm. Those are just lovely. Do I want those? How much would it be for all of them? Eight dollars. Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Lots of colored glass today. Okay, I'm gonna wait on those. Oh, who is this? Japan. I'm not sure what that says. I might grab both of these to look up. Let's make sure there's no cracks. Very dusty. See the painting on her knees? I think Hummel would not do that. Yeah, I don't think they're that good. Yeah, it's probably like a like an imitation Hummel. Should put my glasses on, that would help. Original generation, is that what that says? Really need glasses. All right, I'm gonna put those back on the shelf. Not feeling it. Okay, two things at the same time. Oh, got some damage to this and he's just made out of plastic. This little bud vase back here and the base is made out of plastic. That's a shame. There is a marking. If this was metal and fine filigree work, I would have picked this up. I don't know that I'm gonna pull Goodwill's sticker off of there. I don't think it would come off in one piece. Oh, it does. Is it Avon? It is Avon. I was wondering if it was. Okay, let's keep looking. Another vase with these twisted handles and the leaves are broken. Made in China. Another soup terrain. Okay, now I want soup. <laughs> Do you guys get like that? Do you get like towards fall, all of a sudden you want pots of soup and just stay home and just nest and eat soup and I don't know, and knit. <laughs> I don't knit or, or crochet. But sometimes I've had enough summer, but that feeling only lasts for like a week. And then I want summer back. I am a summer girl through and through. Oh dear. <laughs> Elephant lamps. Whoops, puzzle pieces falling down. Oh my goodness, elephant lamps. Oh, they're missing a little bit of paint. Darn. I would have put my big girl pants on and shipped elephant lamps. I don't think I'm gonna go for them. Too much paint chipping. Those would have been good. Oh, do I want chipped elephant lamps? How much are they charging? $10. Nope, not a $10. But those would have probably been a good sale. People love elephants trunk up. Okay, I'm gonna put my big girl pants on and we're gonna do the clear aisle, but I'm gonna do it quickly. Little salt cellars, $3 for four. I don't know that any of these, unless there's something really terrific, bring, you know, profit, profit enough. All right, what else? A little fish bowl, a ribbed vase. I told you we were gonna go quick. I really don't like this aisle. I never feel like I know any of this. Okay, that was a large crash. <laughs> Somebody dropped something. What was I saying? Clear glass is so hard for me to figure out what's what because it all looks alike. You know, you can learn dishes because of the pattern, but when things are clear, very hard to learn. So kudos to you guys doing clear. Okay, Strawberry Street. We can see that these were originally on clearance, $1.99. I'm gonna say no to those. See that? And I'm on the clear glass aisle, and what am I looking at? Not clear. All right, what else? Do you see anything, guys? You're all gonna be saying, you missed the such and such. There's a very interesting lamp down here. Looks very heavy. Oh, somebody made it, I think. I'm not even sure what's going on here. A base, but it's plastic. That was a surprise. All right, lots of loud music and things falling off of shelves and babies crying. Hopefully I won't have to do a voiceover. 
You see some beautiful stemware back here. Let's see if we can pull some of this out. Little cordial glasses. Oh, is that pretty? It's got like a garland motif. $1.99. And how many do we have? Just the two, it looks like. I might have picked those up. Oh, another piece of stemware. Probably the same pattern. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes open now because if I can get sets, um, you know, of six or whatever for a good buy-in price. A lot of times I do stemware. Holidays are coming and it's not only about presents, but people I think are really going to be entertaining this year. This is very interesting. It looks like somebody painted it like a hobbyist piece because then they poured the paint out and it ran over <laughs> the rim of the bowl. But yet it has a stamp on it. So I'm thinking somebody owned it and repainted it and it has a chip. I do like that glaze though, that swirl paint glaze. Oh, a little picture. Let's see what the picture is of. Interesting. Okay, that is very interesting. Heart Rousseau, $4.99. Hmm, hmm, I'll give it that thought. Not really. <laughs> Let's keep moving. My girlfriend Lindsay, another reseller, just handed me this and said she thought of me. Highest compliment ever. Now it's not antique, but it looks to be vintage. And it almost looks like those little latch things, the screws have been replaced. I could be wrong about that because it's got the matching hanger one. But at $4.99, I'm hoping for a second. Thank you, Lindsay, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to finish this video with my iPhone because I think my GoPro broke. Womp womp. The Hosley Candlesticks. Goodwill wants $6.99, which is too high because I'm thinking I wouldn't get more than 30 for them. So I would wanna spend probably $3, not $7 a piece. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like the shape of these, but we're gonna leave those behind. Okay, so we are going, I'm pretty sure, with the rest of this stuff. And I will keep you posted on Instagram of what sells and how much it brings. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. It is Tuesday morning, and I figured I'd throw in a little bit of extra footage into this video of pulling shipping for the morning. So these will be sold from yesterday, probably early afternoon through today. And I think I have about 12 items, which is a little bit slow, but it's to be expected. Summer slow down. I think August, April and August are my slowest months. All right, I'm going to jump right into it and get started. Not too much chit chat, hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes I can't control it. First item up, KS Island Men's. This is a 5X linen shirt. Anytime I find decent quality in a larger size, really doesn't matter what brand it is, I like to pick it up. I see this shirt right here. This is men's clothing on this rack, and there are coats on that rack waiting to be folded. I am a little bit slow at this, guys, with everything else going on. So I do get a little bit backed up in that task of folding, you know, to put into inventory. I got half this rack done a couple days ago, and it already filled up. <laughs> Just the nature of the business. Beautiful linen shirt. I love this color. And KS Island 5 Extra Long. This sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. Next item to be sent out is a lot of two pasta tins made in England, $24.99. I see one of them poking out up here. Now there's no really rhyme or reason to what's going on up here, just flatter items. I do have extra flooring from my kitchen when I had the kitchen reno, and I'd almost like to get rid of that at this point because it's just taking up space. So I'm gonna look into that. There's a few projects, just moving this stool over so I can get up that high. A few projects I'm hoping to get done fairly soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. This is macaroni tin number one. There's a second one up there. A couple of projects. I want to wash the basement floor. I like to do that probably four to five times a year. I like to keep it really clean down here. I'd like to repaint this floor. I do paint it just a plain gray. And what else would I like to do? Kind of do a revamp of this because I'm hoping to fit in a couple of more shelving units so I can space this stuff out and of course pick up more stuff. All right, I said I wasn't going to chat. See that? $24.99 buyer pays ship. 
shipping. Just know I only pay a couple of dollars most times for buy-in. If I pay up, I will always tell you guys. All right, let's go on to the next item. All right, the next item up is a Harry Potter lamp. I picked up two of these at a yard sale on Memorial Day. So that was the end of May. See, everything does not sell through <laughs> within one or two days. $111. I paid $20 a piece. Most times my lamps and lamp parts will be down here, but these are large boxes, so a lot of times I stick large boxes wherever I can fit them, and I see them down here. This is really the linen section, but here are the Pottery Barn, Williams-Sonoma, same thing, same parent company, and I'm going to put the camera down because this is a brass lamp quite heavy. So like I said, I paid $20 a piece. I got two of them and it sold for $111 and my buyer pays shipping. When I list something this big, I'm always trying to explain for the new sellers to put the dimensions of your box in the original listing. When you're listing the item, put the weight when it's all packaged up exactly how it's going to go and the dimensions of the box if you're doing calculated shipping. Now, if you're picking up the shipping, you really have to know what that's going to cost you from your house to the furthest point it can ship to. And that way you don't lose money if you're picking up the tab. But my store 99% of the time has the buyer pays shipping because too many times I hear of sellers not calculating correctly. And it not only eats up all of your profit, but you can lose money greatly on that um, if you decide to do that, if you're not shipping super light items. All right, let's go on to the next item. Okay, the next item that sold through was this Justice League backpack. I picked these up in Target when they were on clearance. I picked up a lot of them. I think this is the last one to sell, but I've probably had this over a year. And I'm going to say I probably picked up mm, 10 to 15 in different um, prints. And this is the last superheroes or Justice League one to sell through. Okay, let me stick this back down. I've shared in the past, this is a Hope Lane cedar chest, and I like it because it's cedar lined, keeps everything really nice, and I just painted it and put it on wheels so that I can <laughs> just slide it back in. All right, next item. Oh, did I say what I got? $12, and I think I paid under $2 for these. All right, next item up, I see right up front, he's looking at me. This is a vintage Odegary tiki mug or tiki cup I should say like a tumbler $18 and I believe I paid $3 and also I sold a set of four Javalia coffee mugs let me see what I got for those I have to scroll on my phone $32.50 I've had these for a while I'm thinking they're in one of those boxes on the bottom shelf they should be on mugs and cups but as you can see oh no here they are right here i was going to say my mugs and cups are filled and then i looked right at them they're like a green color lighting down here is poor sorry about that and this is by appointment of his majesty the king of sweden so <laughs> that's jabalia for you jabalia for you sounded like i was speaking like swedish or something <laughs> all right set of four you can tell i've only had one cup of coffee and that is the next item. Okay, we're going to work on pulling some of the clothing sales. For those of you new to my channel, this is my basement. This is where I keep all of my inventory. I'm sure you've figured that out by now. And this is how I inventory my clothing, how I store it. So everything is in plastic bins that are marked by the type of item. I do not use SKU numbers yet. I know, horror, the shock of it all. <laughs> Most times I can find everything. Truth be told, there's once in a while where I'm not quite sure where something is, but 99% 9.9% of the time I find it. And let's look at the first item logo, Lori Goldstein. It is an extra large tunic sage green top, $18. And I'm going to look in tops under extra large solids. I sort my items not only by what type of item it is, like this is all of the tops and vests in this row here, but I do it by prints, solids, sometimes by certain colors. Vests are separated by indoor vests. There's outdoor vests down there. And we're going to look in solids because that's what this top is. I'm going to pull this bin right over here. Shirts, extra large, solids. I very much like this system because see how empty this bin is? When I 
go to pull something, I'm like, oh my goodness, I really need tops. That's what's selling through because my bin is empty. I know you can also look at it. You can sort your eBay store, but this works for me. I'm a very visual person like, oh, and this will stick in my brain more than if I just looked it up on the computer. All right, logo, Lori Goldstein. Here it is, extra large, next item. Okay, just looking at my phone for the next item. Adidas, this is Stella McCartney. It's a yoga tank top, $34. That is going to be on this side, active wear jackets and tops. So I haven't even printed a new label, which I will work on. I just switched things around. I'm going to pull this bin and we're going to see if it's in here. If not, it is on the new rack or it's in that Ikea bag there waiting to be put away. All right, let's pull this down. Maybe I can do this. Yep, with one hand. Tell you what, these days I feel like I don't need to go to the gym. All right, so it's Stella McCartney, and I don't see it here already. See, again, my, my workout tops, fitness clothing, running low. Okay, it might be that I folded it, and I actually have to go through this bag. I have not put this away yet. This is recently folded inventory, and um, I just haven't put it into the system yet. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off, quickly dig through this bag, and see if I can find the top. Okay, halfway through the bag. I went up grabbing this other Ikea bag. I own about 15 of these bags. I'm sure you guys all know about these bags. Phenomenal. I've had this one. You can tell how worn out it is. Still going strong. My postal carriers sometimes take the bags. I put my shipping in them. I do everything with these bags. Excellent, excellent bags. Go Ikea. Good job. All right, Adidas, Stella McCartney, small top. And that just sounded like an Ikea commercial, didn't it? Ikea, if you want to sponsor me, I will take it. I do like that store. Okay, $34 this sold for, $4.99 I paid. Okay, next item up is a Nike dry fit soccer jersey. That will be in men's polo jersey rugby solids right here. This is very heavy. I do keep a lot of men's polos in stock at all times. They're easy to pick up. They sell through well as long as you have a decent brand. And the larger sizes, as we know, are always a good sell through, especially if you have like Under Armour or Nike, something like that. Now, I'm not saying they all bring a ton of money, but soccer jerseys always do well for me. I'm going to go ahead and pull this bin and we will get that jersey out. Okay, so here it is here, Nike Dry Fit, $16, and again, I paid $4.99 for this. The next item up is Hearts of Palm. It is a skirt. You guys know me, I love skirts. Stretch denim in a size 14. And for those of you who are still asking, my phone case is a bandolier. Bandolier, it has a strap. I have to strap it to my body most days. <laughs> skirts, shorts, and skirts in this here. Now these skirts will just be active wear skirts because I have a whole section down at the end for skirts, a whole uh, row of it. But this is where this will be. This might be it here. Hearts of Palm, which truthfully I think I've heard of once or twice in my life, but it is a skirt. It has stretch. It's white like a denim. And most people might not pick this up. $17. Yes, please. $4.99 into $17. I will do that. I think a lot of people really get hung up on brands. Now, you do want to make sure that what you're buying has some kind of attraction for people, whether it be the style or what it is. But I always keep an open mind for brands. Okay, I'm noticing that I probably have a typo in this. Sport Haley, I think this is. I spelled it H-A-L-E-Y. I wish eBay had spell check in the titles. Now, most times I'm copying my title and just putting it into the description box, which does have spell check. I'm not quite sure why our titles don't have spell check because I'm a horrible speller. And in rushing, I do make quite a few spelling mistakes. $16. Glad I didn't put this bin away. Another skirt. It's right here. H-A-L-E-Y, huh? Maybe I did spell it correctly. I really like this um, zigzaggy chevron print, I'm going to call it. All right, so I got 16 for it plus shipping. And again, I believe I paid $4.99. Now, when I say I paid $4.99, I usually have a discount of some sort. Most times I'm going on Senior Citizen Day or when they're running some kind of sale. So a lot of times the $4.99 can really be between $3.50 and $4.00. 
Next item to be pulled, a vintage cottage core dress. I think this is part of the pickup that I did when I went to visit Jay and Ryan down in Virginia. Uh, if you don't know them, they are scavenger life. They have been a huge influence in the way that I sell. They are long tailed just like I am. And I actually thrifted right in their town <laughs> and picked up quite a large lot of cottage core type dresses, size 14. I don't even see up. Oh, this is Karen Stephen. Again, I don't know if many people would pick this up. This is because of the print dresses, large colors and prints 14 will be in here. I'm going to say I picked up probably 12 to 15 dresses like this. I think this might be the last one. I don't see any more in there. So this is what it looks like. And what did the buyer pay? Let me do my phone. $22. Couldn't tell you what I paid for these. Not much. They had good thrifting in their town. Good prices. All right. I think that might be it. I'm going to check my phone. Let me bring my phone over into the light. Lots of lighting in this basement. Basements are dark, and you really have to have good lighting <laughs> to be able to see what you're doing. Let me pull it over here. So this is what the table looks like. The Nutcrackers have not sold. They're newly listed, and I have to work them into the shelf. Like I said, I'm hoping to get a little bit more shelving, maybe two or three more, and we'll probably move this art thing, this dust-covered art little, I don't know what to call that, organizer, and fit it in there. All right, let me stop yak-yakking. Let's see if we got everything. I think that's everything. I'm going to go upstairs and ship out. Uh, yeah, I got everything. And ship out. And then today will be spent probably listing and maybe some organization down here. I'll probably wash the floor. But first, I have to get all of this put away. It's always a whirlwind when I'm down here. You can tell when I'm pulling. Guys, thank you so much for following along. If you would, would you hit the like and subscribe button? Doesn't cost you anything and it helps me a ton. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.